because it's easier to release some of that stress and that guilt because I'm just gonna give you just niblets of truth within that lie. Do you find it effective to plant a mind virus with someone? I want people to be sure and not confuse this with bluffing because if you bluff and you get caught, you lose power in the interview. But yeah. if you ask someone like OJ, if you say to OJ, is there any reason someone would have told me they saw you yeah. in that neighborhood last night? Yeah. You're not saying someone did. You're saying, is there any reason somebody would have told me they right. saw you there last night? That's what I call planting a mind virus. Yes. Because we think at 1,250 words a minute, mm -hmm. we speak at 125 words a minute. If he wasn't there, he should give you a no immediately. That's true. But if he has to stop and think, who could have saw me? <laughs> Uh, let's see, I didn't see any cars, I don't remember anybody, right. uh, no, nobody should. If he has to take five seconds to think that, and you're thinking at 1,250 words a minute, mm -hmm. then in five seconds, you can go through 20 or 30 words to describe to yourself possibilities. Why do you have to turn that over in your head and repeat the question back to me twice before you answer? Stalling. You know you weren't there. Right. Unless you know you were. Right. You know, uh, Read Investigative Interrogative is an organization that teaches, which I've taken several of their courses, about theming and storytelling. And we, you know, we make them think that we know more than what we actually do. For example, you come into a room and you've got a stack of books there and might have CDs and all kinds of tapes and saying, you just put your hand on it and just anchor it. And automatically the person's thinking, oh my God, they got a bunch of stuff on me. So, so for example, is, is we minimize, we want to minimize what they've done. Like for example, I know you're not a bad guy, you know, you seem like you're a really good guy, stand-up citizen, you know, you take good care of your family, you know, you've paid your rent every single month. I just can't imagine why you would do this. Why do you think that Betty would make that accusation? Well, maybe because I needed a little extra money or whatever. So you needed a little extra money? So then you can start playing off in their words. You start using their own words, what they say, minimal encouragers to get them going. So you get people to talk long enough, they will always hang themselves. So most people can only pay attention to what they're saying or what, how they're presenting themselves. It's either their presentation or what they're saying. They will only focus on one or the other but they will completely forget other parts of it. And that's what we find in some of these criminals. They think that they're so good at fooling us, yeah. they're gonna trip up in one or the two.